What's up, everybody? It's your boy Alpal. Welcome back to our Let's Play. So today, um, let's just figure out what we're doing. You know, we have some options, I guess. Now that we are, here's the stats. We're at 48, close to being able to take on. Uh, Radon, I think going into Caleb would be pretty beneficial. I'm trying to decide if it's worth doing Milson's questline. Usually, um, I'm not quite sure if we want to do that or not. Milson's questline is a little bit of a long one. We have to go fight Commander O'Neill, and I think we'd be better off. Did I ever get Latena? I don't think I did. We'll get Latena later. We don't have to worry about that right now. So we have a plus three, plus four Bloodhound Spang. I think going into Caleb would be pretty beneficial right about now. For uh, a number of reasons. For starters, uh, we can let's just go ahead and pull up in the map. Just kind of talk about what's good here. So we could go to. Uh, route view balcony. <coughs> I basically just hightail it south. We don't really care about doing a lot of this fort because we don't need Lion's Claw and we don't really need um, like the weapons there, but we need the Stargazer stuff. So it might be worth going there, or not the Stargazer stuff, the stuff that boosts our things. And we might do just the start. We m actually have to do part of. Millicent's quest line. At least part of it. So let's make that the plan today. Let's go get our strength uh, talisman. We'll get the dex talisman so that we can have them both. And then we can use, uh, we can start ironing, at, ironing out some of the details on our build after that. Um, We don't really want to. We're still, we're doing okay level wise, but we're still somewhat lower than I'd like to be for tackling this area. So I think that's just a good plan. We'll do Kaled now, and then we will tackle um, Altus Plateau and all that stuff once we get there. We may do the Diallo's quest because I feel like that's, I don't want to say it's an underrated quest, but I feel like it's a little uh, convoluted and complicated for anybody who might be watching this to see how to get some of these items or things like that. I mean, you can obviously just look it up on the wiki, but understanding that the, those are tough quests. Got the archer hasn't noticed us yet, but he's about to. Maybe he's about to fire it off. You can hear we've got the stake of America. We just hop off the horse. Uh, some of the stuff here we don't mind fighting. We just don't want to have to fight everything, you know. I guess we're doing well enough. Okay, so you know, it's kind of a um um back and forth here. See, I would like, I think it'd be cool to get one of their great shields. I doubt I'll get it, but you know what? I guess 
just keep getting the backstabs until he stops letting me get the backstabs. Nice. And basically, this is all we're coming here for. Just to get the star. Is it? It's the Star Scourge heirloom. And basically, all that does is gives us. I don't know where that goes. But that's not what we're here for. I must have passed it. It's not all the way up there. It's over here. Does anybody know where that portal takes you? Does it take you to the castle? So, um... Right now, I don't know if it's worth putting on yet. But uh, just knowing we have it is good. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where that leads us, but Fort Gale, Fort Gale North. Why don't we go to Fort Gale and hook down and around, huh? I'm not super excited about fighting that guy, but... Uh, also, some other things, depending on what your build is. Uh, there is... There is a... Uh, pyromancy spell up there. I know they're not technically pyromancies. It's a fire incantation. But it's flame get, grant me strength. That was probably a better spot to start out. So as far as game progression is concerned, you don't really have like a super set in stone like this is how you should be doing it type thing. I just know that Caleb's probably not like it shouldn't be like the very first thing you explore. I think it's totally fine to get in here and like establish a couple sites of grace so that you can just travel here instead of having to go to like summon water outskirts beforehand and then riding in here so I'm just missing it I guess But yeah, this is definitely, you want to, if you're looking, I mean, you can come to Caitlyn at any point, obviously. It's not really shut off to you. There's nothing really keeping you from doing this area. It's just that it's a higher risk of doing it, if that makes sense. And it must be nighttime because there's a Night Rider. Or a black knight, a knight's cavalry. That's freakish. I did not get the map. Shoot. Kind of got to get him off my ass. Okay, so. Another good pointer while you're out and about in Kaled is instead of fighting that Knight's Cavalry, which I'm not sure which one, what that one drops, but unless he drops his flail, that would be super sick, but all we're trying to do is establish some quick fast travel spots, because 
we will be doing Radon eventually. No cheese. This will be the first time I've fought him without a, a player summon. We'll still use the NPC summons because of the flavor. I don't really mind using those. Their AI is not as good. But they are there to help out. Oh, dude, it's totally open. Did I do some of those stuff? question is, like, do you just ride back up there? The load screen's not worth it. Cool. So the portal's active. That means that the festivals began. I must have done enough. We don't want to mess up Bly's questline too much, though. <laughs> not that I don't think you can mess it up. I actually was able to get his sword and armor without fully completing his stuff. So that's interesting. I think they make it so that it's more difficult to mess up quest lines in this game. It's kind of nice because it's really easy to do that in Dark Souls 3 or Dark Souls 1. Of course, by the time you're on like your fourth playthrough, you there's very there's, you, you you know what you're doing basically, I guess. Millicent's quest line uh, uh, is somewhat tedious at this point in the game. There's a lot of things that you, a lot of back and forth you have to do. But it does involve us fighting a couple of bosses. Uh, one of them is required for the quest line, the other one's just kind of a bonus. You might as well just go fight him while you're here type situation. So anyway, we'll reset the world. We're about to get rocked by some magic. Also, if you're struggling at all with like what summons you want to use and that kind of stuff, you just grab the rotten stray. And then Swamp of Ionia, Aonia. <coughs> is our next place. Come up over here. Now there's a way to cheese them. I'm gonna try and avoid the cheese. <coughs> See if we can handle him while our wolves do some work. Oh, 
was getting rocked too. I don't think I have the items to make this really blood loss. If I deal with blood loss, I can't deal with Scarlet Rot yet. got me though. Like I, th I feel like this attempt's basically done. The souls will be worth it. My last heal. Alright. Okay. So I wonder if there's a way to lead him through this mess here. Not really. I'm just going to show you the cheese method so that we can progress here <clears throat> instead of getting stuck on him. Until they patch it out, it's totally worth it. You separate him from his summons, the summons won't follow. The only thing you really have to watch out for. Is that Clean Rot Knight? So usually uh, this is this is actually kind of ridiculous that your horse can survive this. I guess being a spectral steed. We're doing like 800 points of damage on him. keep him in this area so that you know he ticks down clean rot knight is easy enough to dodge as long as you stay on the move 
and don't get hit by any of this BS, and you should be okay. Now this is if you can't handle the fight, obviously, like, on, uh, it just depends on when you want to tackle this area, too. If you want to do it early. Alright, that, alright, yeah, so you got, you do have to be careful. That much is established. But it really does just kind of tick him down. Try not to run into them, obviously. You know, just that's taking unnecessary damage. But basically, if you just circle this one spot, you will, uh, yeah, see, he's getting ready to summon a homies, and they'll make it just a little bit more difficult, but you can't get him to walk back into that geyser. Yeah, see, anywhere from 8 to, uh, 800 to 1,000 is where you start to get honest results. Alright. Or, you know, when you weren't getting that before, you know what I mean? You've seen how much heavy damage I was doing on the horse. And even my uh, special which is usually pretty decent, is not really doing the job. You do that, you get a free 16k. All of his summons die, you get the halberd and the gold needle. The halberd's actually pretty decent. I've seen a lot of people use it since it's uh, got a buff. Honestly, I don't suggest cheesing all the time, but if you want to try it at least once, this is one guy that's consistently getting rocked. So, uh, now that we've done that, um, I don't think we actually have enough for a level yet. So. Alright, so we want strength and dexterity both at 30, and then 25, that's what I would want them actually. Just because... Celia under stair because that is the closest race to Gowry himself. Now, honestly. I wouldn't even recommend going back to Gowry yet, but since he has to, otherwise you're going to have to do a ridiculous amount of, like, resetting the world just to get him to move. Alright, uh, I thought it was worth a shot. So he will go do whatever with the needle, and we can hightail it through Celia. This area is pretty rough, 
if you've got these guys casting spells at you the entire time. But if you just run straight over here, and you can do this with like a co-op summon, you just don't have the horse, so, but uh, if you're doing this on your own, I'll show you the best way. So this, there are three towers that we have to get. These just want to get us this one, you just drop down on the branch, we'll do that later because we want to come back and basically get the grace right there. We just kind of hightail it over. This is a good one to start at. You can just climb up. And you get the grace. Or not the grace, you light the flame. You break a seal. I'm not sure what this item is, but I'm not sure if it's worth... Well, stone sword keys are always worth it. say I kind of kind of jacked that up didn't I that's all right falling down is fine it's not the end of the world you just have a bunch of a-hole sorcerers on your ass this is why I suggest uh, using the horse and doing it on your own you can always summon your pals for the boss fight but And the boss fight's really not even that bad. You can just kind of hightail it backwards on top of the rooftops to here, just uh, blow past those guys because you can just, now you don't really don't need the horse right there, I believe this seal is broken now anyway, but like if you want to get to the boss, you got to break all of the seals. Generally, I think that this is a really good uh, area to do if you're a mage. You can get Lissat's um, staff right here. Nice. That is all of the seals. So the first suggestion, not that this is a guide, but what we're going to do first, let's kind of reset everything because these guys are going to be around here somewhere, almost assuredly. These guys aren't required, but if you're just trying to farm some souls, you do get some items from them. And it's really not that hard of a boss fight since you can ride your horse in the arena and you can summon your spirit ashes if you don't run into the wall. And also they're just going to be kind of a cakewalk I think at this point. So you just kind of hone in on one and you come in with the... You see how much damage we're doing on these guys, they don't have any poise. And if 
you're really feeling up to it, you can just go hand to hand. You get the flowing sword, which is all right. It's only a six thousand. I don't even think I had. Oh, I do have it. But. Let's grab Lissat's Glintstone Staff. We'll go ahead and rest real quick. Like I said, easy. Easy boss fight. Gain you some souls. You've completed Celia. You've learned its secret. You can also figure out how to do this from there. Okay. For this part, we're going to show you a little bit of. tips and tricks here. Just ride up here. I don't know why it decided to give me that tutorial now. Of all things, we're not really planning on doing any magic in this. So the pests right there can be a little bit of a problem. But get the grace. Just exhaust the dialogue. So we should go back to Gallery, and we will. But first, want to. There's this big white giant skull. Or something. I assume it's the bones. Just pop over here. To here. Take it up. And you've got these homies that like to hang out on the on, on this Kalid stuff. Get some goods. There is a couple of smithing stone sevens. Most importantly, oh, I thought there was a somber smithing stone. Was there not one? Not up here. I in my stream today, I totally said there was. A, you get somber smithing stones eight here. Maybe you do. We take that, and then we will travel back to Celia under Spare. Actually, we could take up to Fer Fort Fereth and just hightail it over here. It's probably best to start from here. We'll show you some secrets of Celia here. There, it is possible for you to get a plus 10 somber weapon before uh, Heading into the capital. I'm not for sure there was a Sabra Smithy Stone 8 there. Well, we may be able to get some flask upgrades, so let's do that. Flasks. Add charge. And then what we'll do, since we were used to having seven anyway, we'll just run with two. That's so that if you decide to uh, go and help somebody in a different world, that you always have uh, a spare blue flask. Because you might end up using your special abilities.
this is kind of the The primary reason for doing any of this is to get a s ancient dragon, or ancient somber dragon smithing, whatever the name of it is. Basically, it's a st plus ten upgrade for your somber smithing stone weapons. <coughs> you just gotta make sure you talk to her. That's the whole kick kaboom of this is kind of silly. Okay, just don't set it down. If you want to fetch, you are as coy as a slip. Never mind. I would wear the trusting and salute you now. primary reason for doing this early, if you're playing any type of melee build or even a casting build, is to get blah blah blah, your prosthesis wear heirloom, so So if we just get her to Gowrie Shack, which should happen after we sit down, now that we've exhausted dialogue, she's gone, and we can start to wrap up this part of the Kaylid playthrough. Um, so let's see, and I believe if we before we fight Radon. We go into the capital and do the dung eater quest. We might have there might be some potential for us getting. I don't believe I gave that to. Do I still have Celibus's potion? Nice. Yeah. So uh, there are some things that we're gonna do prior to fighting Radon because that kind of triggers a lot of things for, in terms of. Uh, Would be faster just to ride down the hill. Is there a faster way down? Not necessarily, huh? Seems like a trap. This seems safe though. Birds. faster than load screen. It might not be. Okay. So that's the only uh, kind of downside of doing a lot of these side quests. The rewards are worth it for sure. But what's not quite worth it is the back and forth. So you kind of have to just be aware that there's going to be a lot of that for you to complete a quest. And it's not necessarily as bad when uh, 
I, I would say that there are some easier quest lines. For sure. As in terms of like tediousness. Okay. So basically what that does is it sets her up for us to find her in Altus Plateau. But we have some things to wrap up here in Kaelid. So now that we've done that, we're gonna come up to Dragon Bar West. What we what we're trying to do is get a specific uh let's see, Grails, Dragon Barrel. So we come up over this hill. There should be right over here. It's hard to see. It's hard to tell. But this guy here. Gives us a somber smithing stone 8. What's really funny about this is that if we just ride down here, instead of going by the dragons, we just drop down. We get Sombra Smithing Stone 9 over here. Dragon Leaf Grease, a Rune Arc, and Arterio Leaf. Times 2. So this isn't a required dungeon, but I would say it's kind of core in that if you're playing through to uh, going to New Game Plus and platinum the game there, then you definitely want to have these prior to going in there. So, see what we find. Rock Grease. And there is a relatively quick way through here. Um, we'll show you that real quick. Because this is a little bit of a pain get through you want to collect a lot of the stuff that these guys are busting their ass on but we're really just looking for the, s the the somber smithing stone piles and they're not really around there's a bunch of regulars sis this, this so if you run up here first You have to do a sprint jump. You kill him. There's another one down there, but I don't really care about him. I'm not quite sure how to get this item. Can't quite make the jump, so we'll just go in and fight the guy right here. some of these uh, just because I think up here is the area that we're gonna want to explore the most see there's a, a somber smolt four there might be more than that here but we have to get by this pest we'll get us with his attack but if we get up here we can handle him with ease or he'll fall down, and we can deal with the guys here.
believe this is a spell, so I don't know if it's totally worth it to pick up, excuse me, on your way through, but they both fell, the ones way down there. I'm not seeing any somber smithing stones, so if I miss any, there's one. I doubt that's the one we need, but we'll grab it anyway. It's a somber four. Don't worry if you can't get the somber five just yet. There might be one up there. Looks like a normal smithing stone. We'll just pop up here for a second and take a peek. That looks like a normal somber smithing stone. There's plenty of somber fours, but no somber fives. I don't think we'll get one from this guy, but you know. have to get really lucky here, I guess. Get them. We'll drink our last one after we use some of our stuff. We're doing mad damage, though. be worse. It could be better, I guess. First try is not bad. Uh, obviously, we have some really good stuff. You see what we get for this. We've got the six, seven, all that other thing, all those other things. And so that's what you come here for. As far as a somber smithing stone five, I can't ever really remember where they are specifically, but they are around. 